Okay. Let's see. This is a bit of an interesting one. Um, a former governor of Hawaii is calling for Tulsi Gabbard to resign. Not because of her vote, though. It's because they think that she cannot serve her constituents because she is running for president. So like her her focus is not on her constituents. It's on her job of running for president. Which, I mean, come on. Like, whether you like a lover, hater, or leader, that's kind of ridiculous. Like, I understand that she's running for president and her her focus is divided. But she can still go and be present for a vote. So, I'm not asking if she's going to resign because she knows she's not. I want to know, is this something more than just that? Because this guy, the former governor, he resigned when he was running for a higher office. He resigned from something to run for a higher office. So he's saying she should do the same thing, and basically anybody. So I want to see, is this more personal because of the flack that she's getting, or... Is it truly your attention is divided? And this just became a news story because of who she is. Seven of Swords and the government. So there is a strategy. So she is running for president, right? Um, yeah, I think that's really what it is. Well, let's see. Mm-hmm. So, this is her running for office. And there is a lot of, um, like, this is clarity, and then this is confusion. So, he feels as though she can't do both. And then this is hard work and then sort of being caught up in something or a change in perspective. So, he wants her to either stop running for president and focus or focus and then resign from office. Um, and there's chaos in the outcome. So yeah, he really does want her to resign because he thinks she can't do both. They're all doing it. Mayor P. Ain't he still the mayor of South Bend? Cory Booker? Kamala Harris? Like they were all running for president and holding their office at the same time. Barack Obama? John McCain? Like these people, they can do both. Remember when John McCain and Barack Obama had to leave the campaign trail to go vote? So it's, you know, it's not impossible. Like, I think, I don't know. So after the election, what's next for Tulsi? Because I don't think she's going to win. And she says she's not running for re-election in Hawaii. So what's next for her? Something from the past, something she used to do, so probably work with um, her organizations because her father, I guess, started an organization, organization as well as a nonprofit. So maybe there is um, some stuff going on there. Uh, mm, mm. 
a new action, but it's but it's not what she wants to do. So it's probably is it something with um, the family business, because mind you, just because her the father started something and she was once passionate about it doesn't really mean that was her thing. It was just kind of a family thing. But she does. There's something back in government she wants to do. Maybe she'll run for um, a lower office, like a commissioner or something. Something. She's going to go back because her skill set is political right now. And she's going to go back into politics. She's going to start with something family related, but her heart is not into that. And then what surrounds her is going to be that but what's coming is hope for the future what she's resting on is just a new perspective so when she gets off the campaign trail then she has to sort of start her life over again because she didn't really have a plan b but she'll fall back into this for a little while and then she'll go back into politics um the fear is wandering having nothing to do with the hermit her hopes is the knight in shining armor so she hopes to make something really good happen um, and her environment is watch who um, you are in tandem with. The Devil and the Two of Cups appear together. So whoever it is you are working with, stop. Because when you go across, there you are in government and then the Devil and then the relationships. So whoever that is, get away from them immediately. Two of Pentacles, there will be a struggle to juggle. Two of Wands, you do have some hope for the future, though. Something from the past has come back up again. It does have something to do with family money or legacy money or big money. So there is someone probably in land or real estate or something like that that comes back into your life. I think this is the person who funds a lot of stuff in your campaign. I said that before, and I think whoever that is, you're going to work with them once more. So this person owns a lot of land or is the head of a big piece of land or something like that. But, um, yeah, she's going to go back into it. Well, good luck.